Hello, Tube of You. It's Andrew from Money Mental UK here. Drunk past midnight. I have just returned from Chester. And I was on the uh, the Raxman Chester Singles event. So by subscriber request, I'm going live now to give a debrief of how said event was. Um, I'm speaking slowly because I need to make sure that um, I speak coherently because when I've had a few drinks, oh, I've lost some subscribers as well. Where have these subscribers gone? Oh, hang on. All right, I'm just going into the chat, so bear with me a second, folks. Ian's there. Hi, Bex. How are you? Uh, Derek's there. Hello, Derek. How are you, mate? You okay? Um, right. Yes, this is what I look like, drunken. For those who have not encountered drunken me before, it's pretty much the same uh, with more slurring. Um, yes, right, people of Tube of You, or YouTube, I'm here, feeling better, I hope you are Bex, yes, or did you mean me, I don't know, um, right, where are we, uh, yes, so, I have returned home, it's very hot, it's like, honestly, like, the people of Madrid are not experiencing a heat wave like we are now, but weirdly, I come back to Wrexham, me but you, you, yes excellent good 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 not more concerned about you back so that's good um what was i saying uh yes uh i can't remember what i said um yes i returned i returned from uh Wrexham. what what was a mistake oh no, i can't give up i returned no i returned from chester back to Wrexham. Uh, as I emerged from the bus, the people of Wrexham were greeted me by fighting on the streets. Fortunately, they all ignore me because they know the locals know not to uh, not to mess with Andrew. Uh, they're not that brave. Uh, and then it started raining, so I knew I was back in the home country of Wales. Hey, Tom, how are you? Um, so yes, I have returned from Chester uh, back to. Um, where I live in Wrexham. Uh, yeah, so I went on this um, um, Wrexham and Chester singles event. Um, yeah, disappointing, really disappointing. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting old now or, or whatever, but, um, you know, I, I wanted to have uh, like a, a, a decent uh, conversation with, you know, people. Um, but there wasn't really the opportunity to do that. I mean, fair enough, the Champions League final was on, so we was watching that. And then it was like straight to a pub, oh, let's go dancing. They're like, oh, hang on. We've not even spoken to anyone. So said, I, I spoke to a lovely lorry, long-distance lorry driver. Hi, George. Yes, midnight, midnight, Andrew. I spoke to a lovely long-distance lo lorry driver. I think he's asked me out at least three or four times. Um, so, you know, uh, that's that's interesting. Um, I'm assuming he means as a friend because obviously, as we know, I'm not that way inclined. Uh, nothing wrong with it. It's just, um, we know it's not how I am. Yes, yeah, Sean, Midnight TV. How are you doing, Sean? Anyway, is uh, Kelly Amazon still? Um, so, yes. Um, there's no option. I mean, I tried speaking to a couple of people uh, of the lady persuasion uh, in. Um, uh the second probably went to but i just didn't seem to be interested in having a conversation so oh, i can't be bothered um it's getting stressed about amazon oh dear yeah i don't do amazon at the minute but i am off to meet the people of amazon on monday with um kfc um so yeah that's not the anyway the people know who kfc is Take lorry driver to beat so he has to pick up. I don't know if he owns the lorry, to be fair, Derek. Um, I need to watch Bex's video, and I'll, I'll watch that in a bit. Uh, Bex has done a new video. Give her a subscribe on the YouTube. It's reselling light. £500 a day on Amazon. That is amazing. KFC going now, going wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's going on Monday. I'm going on Monday. You have to be on best behaviour, apparently. Not very good at best behaviour. Um, we shall see. 
can I slap? Can I slap? I don't think I'm allowed to be violent towards the Amazon employees whilst I'm there. Unfortunately, I think that maybe get me banned from Amazon for life, and I, I'd rather not have that. Um, hey Peter, did I meet any Welsh people? Well, there, there were Welsh. I live in Wales, so I meet many Welsh people on a daily basis. Can't even get one. So I'm. You got an Amazon account? Have you best? You got stuff on there? You doing FBM or FBA Bex? Um, so no, yeah, so yeah, me and KFC are off to Amazon on Monday. Uh, I've got to get up a stupid clock as well for it because I was going to stay in Manchester tomorrow, but it's like it's, it's an hour away from me, may as well just drive it. Um, hi, Bexify Lisa, Lisa's here. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Captain Pugwash. I pay Hansley Mike Shares to five pounds, make it 500 quid. You got a chance. Um, FBM, ah, fair enough. I've never done that, uh, but I may do FBA in the future. Um, anyway, yeah, back to back to back to tonight's events. Yeah, uh, yeah, Ian is done on Friday. Why well, after Amazon? I don't know. You'd have to ask KFC Tom to be honest. I've not, she just said get a ticket to this, so I did. Still, what I'm told. Traveling from Wales to UK. Wales is in the UK. Um. Right, what was I saying? Anyway, so, yes, tonight. Champions League finals on, so that was a massive distraction. Uh, unfortunately, Spurs did not win. I was hoping that um, that they would defeat Liverpool because I'm never going to hear the end of Liverpool winning the Champions League now. They're going to think that they've like the best things in the sliced bread and whatever. Um, how far away is Wrexham from you, Bex? Um about an hour and a half drive, about 80 mile, I'd say. Um, I have been where you are before. Um, I actually went on a date in Burnley with a lady who turned out not to have a full set of teeth. Um, so, yeah, that, that kind of put me off that date. Uh, there was a couple of um, uh, ladies who were okay, but I talked to them and I was not interested, are they? I just like, ah, oh, forget it then. Um, Anastasia is making lots of comments on my video by the looks of it. I don't think she's realised that I'm no longer live. Um, I'm live on YouTube now, not Facebook. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, I could see a couple of them checking me out, obviously, as, as you would do. But no, there's no, um, it's not interesting having a proper conversation or whatever. And I was just like, I need that connection now, really. You know, gone are the days when I would just pull a random, to be fair. You know, and I like to have a chat now, and uh, I just like to have a chat. So it's too knackered for anything else. Um, so yeah, Champions League was on, is watching that. All well, the boys watching that, and the girls are over there. Unfortunately, Tottenham did not win, uh, so we're going to hear it. That's not at the end of Liverpool winning now. And then um, we was going to go to this all bar one place, but it wouldn't let us in. Um, it's too full or whatever. So we went to some other bar. Oh, it's just horrible. Absolutely horrible, couldn't be bothered with it. Um, so I saw I talked to a few, say hello. The lorry driver had more interest than I did, um, to be fair. Um, three hours on a train, is it? Um, are you putting Wrexham General or Wrexham Central in there? Because Wrexham General is the station you need to go to. People always put Wrexham Central in, it's like literally a five minute walk away. Wrexham is not that big. Um, Wrexham is fabulous, yeah. Lisa's on the Isle of Wight. Um, so, uh, yeah, what I was going to say. So, um, yeah, I can't be bothered. I just thought, do you know what? I have a few pints, get on the bus home. Uh, and then I discovered that this was annoying that um, you don't even have to pay for the bus to come home anymore, apparently, at a certain time. They just want the people of Wrexham to leave Chester to lay on a free bus for you. So, the return ticket I bought says so cost me actually £1.50 for nothing. Has anyone heard of co-op now doing online delivery and get it to two to you in two hours? So I, I don't want anything from the co-op anyway. Rex Central four hours, yeah. They only do one train from uh, Rex General to Rex Central an hour. I, I don't even know. They're on about putting another train station in Rex, right? The people don't even use the ones we've got. There's like literally no point in Rex Central train station at all. I spent millions on it. There's no point in it. It's literally five minutes away. I just don't see the point in it. Five minute walk, you can go there. Um, 
you know, Wrexham only needs one train station. It's not that big of a town. And they said, oh, yeah, we need to put a third train station in now. For who? Who needs a third train station in Wrexham? Unless they put it by my house, they don't have to walk 15 minutes to the train station. You know, anyway, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a rant. Um, I'll catch up in the chat. 20 minutes away from Burnley. Uh, they need to fix the suspected copyrights uh, violation system. Yeah, I heard about that. It's not not good, that. Um, it's all that same woman as well, isn't it? Um, as I understand it. Anyway. Um, yes, so. If they have a uh, singles event in Wrexham, I'll go to it because... You may as well tell you a few minutes down the road. Am I vlogging Monday? Um, I might do. I don't know if they'll allow me to, to be honest, but I might um, get a little video. I don't have a video of me and KFC. I'm sure that I'll get my views up. Siri says Wrexham is 250 likes away. I travel to Leicester to meet online friends once. I've never been to Leicester. Miles. London's 220 miles away from here, to be fair. Or is it 220 from Chester? Maybe 210 from here. I think you should do a seller meet in Beck's local. If I do that, though, Gemma Lou will be there and it'll just be carnage. We'll, we'll have disagreements. We'll have enough disagreements, don't need any more. Um, Co op delivery alleys become like everyone's going mad because McDonald's has just started using Uber Eats. They don't have Uber Eats in Wrexham. They did discover, though, that Domino's is open until 3 o'clock in the morning on a Friday and Saturday. Now, yesterday, when I was coming home, I, I had to go to some rubbish place to get a pizza. It was horrible. But no, Domino's was open. I've got a Domino's on my way home. It was a question. Of, yeah, I'm still getting comments. Where's the most subbing I've been? Um, France, probably. Was that about me? No, Je Gemma Lou, so, someone different, Bex. Um London, 13 miles away from Epson. Uh, there we go. I've been to Kingston. I think that's the closest I've been to Epson. So first, I've so I've been in in I've been to Plymouth and Dover and places in the UK before. Um, and then obviously over to France. I've been to America. I imagine the bit. I went to Florida. My headphone fell out. out. Got me on the headphones, have you? <gasps> Whispering roast sweet nothings into your ears. How excited. Oh, I have to stop commenting on stuff on this thing. And you're up from me. Yeah, UK, well, yeah, UK wise, probably, probably Folkestone, Dover, Plymouth. I'll tell you what, right? I used to work in Worthing. I spent six months in Worthing. I used to live in Lancashire. I spent six months um, working in Worthing. Um, so obviously on the south coast um and i uh i made the mistake once of arranging a meeting in plymouth and assuming that that was quite close to worthing and it'd be a quick hours drive it took me five hours to get or five and a half hours all right i get it you commented a lot of my stuff it's been like five and a half hours um to get from plymouth to worthing it was ridiculous boyfriend is snoring i don't mind that Furthest north I've been is whatever Skegness is further north than Leicester. I can show you that. Furthest north I've been in the UK, probably uh, County Murray, um, up in uh, uh, Scotland. That's uh, probably furthest north I've been in the UK and possibly the world. Um, Big four supermarkets will co copy co-op and promise your order. We live it in two hours. I think I struggle with that in um, in Wales, to be honest. Um, like, if I was a reseller, I, I went to Barmouth um, so in, uh, in in Wales um, the, other, the other day, and I thought, oh, I've got a couple of parcels to drop off for Hermes. I'll take them with me. So then I went there. But when I got there, I thought, I'll just have a look on the, uh, you know, the, the website, see what's the closest parcel store is well closest one was back in Rexha where I just left which is like you know 60 miles away ridiculous so um absolutely mad so I think that they're struggling Wales with the two and a two hour delivery to be honest it's, it's quite 
it's quite backward really around here. Um sure to get a next day slot. Uh yeah, Chester is good, Peter. Um yeah, I like Barmouth. It's, it's it's a nice place, but I tell you what, it's remote. Uh yeah, good place, Chester. Uh Peter, definitely. The noon in Scotland, don't know where that is, apart from in Scotland. Scotland's all right, but I can never understand the accent. I don't know how Derek copes up there. I can't understand what people say. Come to your nearest store. Big foot. Yeah, but I think the point I'm making, though, is there's, you don't always have a nearest store in Wales. As I say, you get into, you get far into Wales, you know, your, your local supermarket is a spa, uh, basically. It's, it's, it's hard to explain unless you've experienced it yourself. But yeah, we don't we don't have the coverage that the uh, rest of the UK does. Yes, I saw your vlog. It, you don't need to self promote here, Peter. I've seen your vlog on Chester. Um, where where have you been? Worcester, Worcester Park. I don't even know what it is. Is that in Worcester? I'm assuming. Um, who knows? Don't like spa wouldn't work here there's only one of some of the biggest supermarkets yeah it is expensive yeah um mike i i'm lucky that i've got morrison's a two minute walk that way and as the two minute not as the aldi just next to it because aldi obviously they like to um open up a supermarket right next to another big supermarket because they know that they've got the footfall then no store nearby postco won't accept it yeah Show it then. Show it, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, do subscribe to Money Mental UK though. It's the greatest YouTube channel ever. Um, I, I have mentioned before, but if there's anyone uh, local to Shropshire, I am going to be hosting. I'm going to be having my birthday celebrations in the town of Shrewsbury on the 26th of July. Um, there in Weatherspoons. Um. I always go to Weatherspoons. I know people have complained about the fact that if they don't drink, they don't want to go to a pub. You, you can drink tea in a pub or coffee. It's fine. Um, we don't have spa anymore. We, you need a, we've got a farm foods and an Iceland. In fact, we've now got a range which has an Iceland built into it, apparently. I've still not been to the range there. I went to the one in Chester because I thought I might do a bit of RA there and I, I wasn't impressed. Uh, but I might try the one in Exxon soon enough. Stop being so far away, I feel left out. I might go to Blackpool at some point. I was on about going to Blackpool um, in July as well for a couple of days with the lads. But look, I definitely think I should start a reseller dating app. But the only problem is that like as soon as I announce my arrival on it, the ladies will be fighting over me you know they, they're the ladies already fight over me as it is so there was a dating app for the resellers as well that would be uh i might i might though as a as a joke not as a joke even because it'll probably take off but i might start a reseller singles facebook group i know i can barely cope with the um the um facebook that i've uh group that i've got but I could start a reseller singles Facebook group and see what happens. I'm shocked how lazy households have got. Well, do you know, it's, it's funny actually you say that, Sean. I was having this conversation with somebody the other day, he was walking through the town, and they were saying how great Amazon Prime was because you can get stuff within 24 hours and whatever. And I was like, yeah, but you can walk down to the shops. You can get it there and then. You know, two hours to me, that's, that's two hours too long. I can I can pop over to Morrison's there and get my stuff in a couple of minutes. So, you know, I don't understand the mentality of people that uh I mean fair enough if you've got like, you know, a, a busy job or whatever, or you've got kids or stuff, you just need something there and then, but you're looking after the kids, you don't really want to take them to the supermarket, it might make sense maybe, but generally I, I don't understand the mentality of not just going to uh you know, walking over to the supermarket. Peter, Peter promoting himself again as he backs. Um, he does that. He's, he's the master of self promotion, is Peter. Um, 
Oh, technology is my part. Without technology, I would not have a business. Travelled over three hours to go to the Bristol Meetup. Yes, there were many legends at the Bristol Meetup, including me. I don't have a Morrison's. Like, they're in Yorkshire and stuff. There should be loads of Morrison's over there, Ian. People want it quick. Want it given to them instead of spending their time trying to find it. I did try that online delivery thing once because they had a voucher to get a discount, so it worked out cheaper for me to do it. And like half the stuff that I'd ordered, they gave me replacements for anyway, which was not um, not stuff I wanted. So I thought, I can't bother with this anymore. I fired them off an email saying how ridiculous it was. You know, why, why couldn't they actually just give me the option of selecting something different that did out of stock? You know, because they have all this just in time ordering system and whatever. But uh, yeah, it didn't didn't work. I I would come to the car boot with your backs, but I'm on a I'm on a sourcing ban, so no picking up stuff for me. No supermarket in walking distance, and delivery is usually cheaper. Found you through Nick's channel. Good content, Peter. Um, can I bring a Chinook? Can you fly helicopters, Ian? I know you've done your military service. You may well be a helicopter pilot, for all I know. Or well, just be brain uh, population is anyway. Um, not your choose, yeah. I think I'd probably be spending most of the time though, back trying to pull you instead of trying to help you choose tap, wouldn't I? You know, it 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 would be very distracting for you, I'm sure. Um, what are we on now? Right, yeah. Anyway, so. I've survived Chester. I'm absolutely shattered now. Um, you're obsessed with bringing this Chinook everywhere, Ian. I have a friend who lives a two-minute walk from a town centre, which has several supermarkets, and she still gets delivery. Unbelievable. I do RI, buy more in online arbitrage and send it back for profit. Midnight mental. Uh, yeah, could do. Um, could do, George, you're right. No, you're not close specs at all. Don't put yourself down like that. That's not true at all. Being in many. Do you ever do like uh, parachute jobs? Do you, do you like Action Man, Ian? Action Man Tat Doctor. Um, I've been in... Oh, I've been in the Chinook before as well, actually. I've been flying in the Chinook um, when I was in the Cadets many years ago when I was a young uh, teenager. Um... I've also been in a red arrow. Um, obviously not flying it, as um, I'm not a pilot. Uh, that was when I was uh, a, a a small boy, and me uh, my best mate's uh, dad was a a, um, a red arrows pilot. Constantly double checking the spelling. Are you spelling Ian wrong? Are you? I'll just call him Brian. Just call him Brian. Back, it's easier. They'll answer to Brian, I'm sure, or just or just Dave. Um, right. Anyway, I am shattered now, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm still single, ladies. Nothing has changed tonight. I've not met any new loves of my life or anything like that. So rest easy. I keep putting an e on the end. That's I don't even know. I've never. I'm not coming. That's a new spelling. That is Bex there that you've invented. But, uh, you know, well done for pushing the envelope with the English language. Uh, that is the way forward. What's I back on Monday? I have no idea. Um, I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I, I, I literally have paid no attention to what I'm doing. Keep taking massive action. You've been watching too much of uh, Kev Blackburn, haven't you? There's massive action. Um, he's all into that, isn't he? ISIS was going over a sunset with an Afghan. I will not respond to Brian. Well, that's it. Is Brian now? Oh, I'll be back for like, well, it's not until nine o'clock, that is it? It's only Manchester, only an hour away. I'll be back well before then. Don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, you will see this face on Nick's channel, 9 p.m. on Monday um, for Seller Lads. Lads, 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 lads. Live um, episode two. Which I haven't named yet. I've got to tell Nick we need to name it around the Star Wars theme. So 
I need to have that conversation. But yeah, I'm going to head off now, folks, anyway, because I'm very tired and drunken, and I need to get my Flamingo shirt off. Nobody commented on the Flamingo shirt either. I'm very disappointed in that. Not one person said something about the Flamingo shirt. I mean, surely to go... Normally, when I go out next to on it, there's people always talking about it to me, coming up to me about it. None of these people. You know, what is the single world coming to? You met Kev, 45 minutes away from me. Watch them live reseller shows on Monday. They, they don't be plugging somebody else's YouTube on my channel now, Sean. I've already got Peter doing his self-promotion. Yes, you, you said it was nice, Bex. I meant nobody at the singles night made a comment. Don't wreck the place before you go on Friday. I try not to, Ian, but I make no promises. As you know, I am chaos and carnage. So I probably ended up just you thought it was PJs. Three pulling shirt, this is. Honestly, Lisa. Your best one of your best shirts, this Primark's finest. I, I used to I used to wear a lot of Hawaiian shirts and whatever, but um I've sort of uh stopped doing that as of now. But I've still got a few shirts in the collection like this one. No, oh, I've just got Sprite down myself. Went to McDonald's, right? I'll tell you what, right? I ordered the chicken legend with the hot and spicy sauce. And that was um that was too hot for me, that was. So I'm gonna cope with this one point four million scoble hot sauce that Corey's got for me. I've no clue. I couldn't even cope with chicken legend with hot and spicy sauce. Pink twenty girls wing, I like that, yeah, quite right. Matt Webley, I don't know who Matt Webley is, um um Sean to be honest. I'm not um I don't I don't I don't watch much YouTube um unless the lives because um so I've got the time um to do it. I, I I do enjoy jumping in on the live but I, I, I don't really watch um I used to, I used to watch a lot of YouTube. But I don't um watch much. Uh, but I will be watching Bex's video shortly. Her first reselling video is now live on the Bexify channel. So we're gonna watch that. I'm not having no onion snacks. Onions are a crime against humanity. Uh, the sauce has not yet arrived yet, but I wasn't expecting it to. Corey's probably sent it third class, you know, for 50p or whatever. If it comes and I've got to pay a postage surcharge, we're going to kill him because I can imagine that will happen. Um, but, yeah, we are going to watch. Uh, we are going to do a, a live on that. Hi, Les. How are you? You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm live and drunken after my uh, uh, date night slash thing. Uh, but I'm just about to head off now. Um, I'm not having no onion snacks. Uh, that, that, uh, Lex is with a double X as well, Bex. Don't, don't use, she ignores me when I use one X. I have to take two Xs, apparently. Honestly, you know, people should just spell their names properly. Um, but, yeah. Um, I think uh, I think I'm going to head off now. I'm going to watch Bex's video on the YouTube. Ken Chapman's been sending me a few uh, videos as well earlier, so I'm going to have a watch of some of those because I couldn't see what hear what you were saying properly in the pub. And then I'm going to try and get some sleep. No car boot for me tomorrow. Never mind smashing Bex's like button. Smash, smash, smash Money Mental's like button. Established, I can't spell. Ah, the spelling's overrated anyway. Just remember, tap doctor's name is Brian. If you can remember that he's called Brian, no, Brian, his name is Brian, not Ian. If you can remember that he's uh, called Brian, you'll be good. Cheers, Les. You too, mate. Right, folks, it's time for me to go. Stay safe, stay beautiful, and in I'm not going to Calvary tomorrow. No Calvary tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you all soon, folks. Enjoy your evenings, definitely sleeping off that drink. Thanks everyone. Good night.